A very good boxing day folks yes hello and welcome to the festive period plus one because we've gone over the festive period now we're into boxing day into that lull the dark lull between christmas and new year so today bro and i are going to go on an exciting road trip down to glen rothes folks yes you heard me right glen rothes to look for some artwork now there was a program on bbc uh, scotland just recently where this uh, guy goes down looking for his his father's artwork, he, the father was the guy who did the sculptures of some hippos, flowers, and um, there's other sort of stuff. There's loads of artwork in Glen Rothes. I didn't realise there was so much, folks. 170 pieces of art. Of course, we're not going to see all of them today. We'll try and pick out a few good ones for you, though. Um, so that's where we're going to be heading, folks. Now, I used to live in Glen Rothes, obviously. It was the worst year of my life. Um, but I do remember seeing the hippos in an enhanced state. I, I remember seeing them and think, what the hell? And, yeah, you know, it's just... It's funny. I love art like that. Back then, I don't think I appreciated it as much as what I as what I appreciate it now. So, we're going to go looking for hippopotamuses or hippopotami. Right, it's the usual situation, folks. We are waiting on Bro. He's late again. Always late, though. I mean, it's only a minute, but it's a minute. It's a minute, isn't it? So, mind you, what did I say? I said be here for ten o one, and it is now ten nine ten o. Two, so he is, he's officially late, folks. We've eventually arrived, folks. Oh, sorry, mate, sorry, sorry, you got held up. Oh. Bro, what's happening? So, we've been looking for the hippos. Yes. Uh, it looks like it's beside number 330. Okay. Or whatever the street's called, so. Let's do it. In this vicinity, so right. let's go see the hippos. Let's go. Right, folks, we are here. We have arrived in Glen Rose, where we are looking for some stone hippos. Yes. Where could they be? What number did you say they were? Right. Map, map over there, but... Well, the usual map confusion here, yeah. folks. So, no, I remember seeing the hippos a long, 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 long time ago. So, we're, we're just after basically try and follow the uh, follow the interactive map we've got. Anyway, right now, seemingly these hippos are just like they're coming. They're going around a corner. Seemingly, there's a tribe of about five. Uh, five of them. Is it a tribe? Is that what you call it? A tribe of stone hippos. Who's going to see them first? Oh, the oh hang on, we found something. We found something already, folks. Oh, we found something here. What's this? This is the eagle, is it? Oh, the eagle. Okay. Well, let's look at that while we're here. Eagle. Excellent. Right, here we are at the eagle, folks. Now, the reason there's so much of this uh, this artwork done in concrete is that when they were making all the houses, there was so much concrete left over that the arts, the art, uh, the artists said to the the construction engineers, "Can we just take away some of that uh, concrete, please? We've got some stuff to do." So, yeah, this is why there's so much concrete artwork here in Glen Rose. Multi trip down to here, folks. I think, bro, I think, bro was the first to see them. Oh, no, he's going to touch them. Right, we're racing to see who's going to touch them first. Yes, it's going to be me. Oh, here they are, folks. We found them. We can touch them together, bro. <laughs> right, here they are. The stone hippos. We found them. Excellent. Excellent. Here they are. Yes. That's all right. Right, so these hippos were made by uh, a guy called Stan Bonner back in the in the 50s and they're placed here sort of the early late 50s early 60s um so there they are and he actually went on to make some elephants as well and he put them in east, i think it was east kilbride he put them in or cumberland or one of those places um but yeah so it must take some work again some some extra concrete uh, which is a lot of concrete but yeah look at this fantastic concrete hippos folks Excellent. Ah, we found them. Amazing. Right, bro, what's this work of art we've seen here, apart from the one that's on your head? <laughs> yes. Uh, and this is, the, this is called Henge. Henge. Surprisingly, it's based on Stonehenge. Okay. I think these were sort of built as like little climbing sort of walls for the kids. <laughs> yeah. Now, Glen Rothes uh, is one of Scotland's five new towns. Can you name the other ones, bro? East Kilbride. Yes. Um, Livingston. Yes. Livingstone. Livingstone. Uh, Cumbernauld. Yes. That's it, is it not? Irving. 
Oh yes, Irvine. Uh, right. So yeah, these are the five new new towns of uh, Scotland. They were built uh, back in the 50s and 60s to to house people from Glasgow. Uh, actually, a million people who came from Glasgow who are living in horrific conditions. <laughs> so so they <laughs> so they brought these. They built these uh, these new new towns right here. So here we go. This is called Henge. Oh, look at this one. This one's called Henge. Look at this. This is amazing. Look at the Celtic. Celtic cross. Fantastic. How for Inbro. Yeah, I know. Are you stuck? Yeah, yeah. Can you not get Inbro? No. <laughs> it's too big for Bro. Right now, this one here. This one is uh, about Che Guevara. Because she said it wasn't all about Che Guevara. Wasn't one about Pelly or something? People were marble for kind of. Oh, yeah, rolled it down as a, a maze. <laughs> Pelly, was it? Yeah, I'm sure there's one about. There's quotes oh, on all of them, look. Yeah. There's quotes on that one there at the back. That's uh, something about Gandhi, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a Gandhi. Man's one, best yeah. monument is not a thing of stone but consists blah blah blah. So that's a Gandhi. Yeah. It's got Gandhi's signature on it. Wow. Amazing. Oh, well, worth it. Still on as well, yeah. Um, you see, there's one about Gandhi, there's one about time and space and days gone by. Yeah. Pele. Yeah. I'm sure what this is. There's something about. One day in the life of Ivan Denichikov or something. So all this was done back in the uh, the sixties when everybody was right into the hippie culture. Mm -hmm. So you can see this is a, a related here with um, Che Guevara. We've got that uh, the Russian authors over there. We've got this weird thing here with zips and wrenches and all sorts of tools and everything going on here. We've got the Celtic Pictish sort of signs here. We've got the one about Gandhi and love and peace, man. We've got a strange little alien. Aztec culture coming through here, absolutely amazing. So a lot of works on this. So this one was done by uh, was this David Harding? This one I can't remember who did this one. Henge, anyway, Henge. So back in the day uh, when this was built, none of these trees they were just like thin saplings back in the day. I mean they're quite thin, feeble now, but uh, yeah. So oh, it's getting so cold now, folks. This, this one's uh, Yesterday. Nowhere Man, The Times Are Changing, Eleanor Rigby, It's All Right, yeah it's all right, 60s songs on here man. So like, Beatles songs, are they not? Well, um, is not? no I think some of them, the Nowhere Man, oh no, where, where Hard Rain's, no, Hard Rain's Gonna Fall, yeah, there's a few Masters of Rolling, War. Rolling Stone songs there as well. I need to try and work them all out. Yeah. Or a hard rain's gonna fall. It's Bob Dylan, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's sort of like Bob Dylan, baby, the Beatles, and something like baby blues. When these Puff the Magic Dragons on the ball. <laughs> that is like Puff the Magic Dragons. Cool. Very good. That's our favourite one, then, isn't it? Yes. All right, folks. The next one we're going looking for is a place called what well, it says. An underpass, it's called Industry, it's a massive sort of Aztec mural. Um, so I've got to go into this park bit and find it. Yeah, this is it, this is the one, here we go. Our typical man's come out. A man has emerged. That's it. <laughs> right, I've come into the underpass itself, folks, here, and we're sort of halfway along, so here we go. Space! Oh, that's a fantastic echo. Fantastic. That's going to be a spiz of the year so far. 
Spades! Woo! Good echo, man. Was there never enough that we should simply want to be together? Hmm. There we go. You never close your eyes anymore when I reach for you. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. It makes me feel just like crying, baby. But baby, something beautiful is dying. You've lost love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You've lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa. whoa. I've come out from that echoey adventure, isn't it? and there's more. There's more really stuff here. Beautiful. Yeah, wow. So it's all about industry and. Uh, Revolutions and I mean, there's all sorts of funny things on there. I think, I think uh, aliens may be this. Maybe aliens landed in Ben Waffles. You think so? Yeah, spiders, know. webs, and all sorts of stuff going. On. I think they just, just free, free uh, use their imagination. Just went for it. You know, that's what I think has happened here, man. I don't think there's any sort of rhyme or reason to this. I think they've just gone for it and used their uh, artistic license, shall we say? It's absolutely awesome, man. I just didn't realise all this stuff was here in Glen Roads, man. Absolutely amazing. Well impressed by all this artwork. I'll definitely be coming back again on another um, adventure to get some of this art. Look at these white, that's weird man. There's white berries here. What's going on? These berries here, what's going on here? What are they all about? Strange. Right, the next piece of uh, artwork we're going to go and see, bro, is what? That giant slash big hands. Big, hands, big, yeah, big hands, yeah. And here they are, you can just see them. They're just so. Looming up out of the grass there. Yeah, we're going to be able to sit in them. <laughs> oh, oh no. We'll try for them again. Oh no, it's really it's cold, man. Yeah. 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 the hands first here. Here they are, look at this. Fantastic. I made a fiberglass. Oh, it's excellent. Coming to the grasping hands, bro. That's it. Great photograph. That is Jag in the actual glove. Hands, man. It's all about the hands. Why oh, say glove there? It's called hands. What did I say, hands. say gloves? I mean hands. hands. Jag in the hands. Jag. One jag in the hands is worth two in the bush. So here we go. Now this is made from fiberglass. We thought it was actually made of terracotta or something, but it's actually uh, Fiberglass, yeah, fiberglass hands. These ones are awesome, man. Yes. So this one's going to get four. Oh, that's well, low. Hang on, no, four each, so it's eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eight out of ten on the yeah. uh, the artometer. Yeah, brilliant. Thank Thank you. Yeah, trying to get into Leslie House, uh, an old derelict building. Now, I think we've been here before. I've got recollections. Bro and I both had recollections of being here uh, back in our urbex days when we used to like going urbex and into these old buildings. And I think we came in before and it was closed off like this. And it still is. Lots of scaffolding on it, uh, fencing all the way around it as well, so we're not going to get into that. Um, but yeah, we've definitely been here before, man. Walking through our past. Right, folks, well, thank you for watching our, uh, <coughs> our concrete hippo adventure today. Finishing off with a, uh, a Rice Krispie bar. Bro's got some chocolate and oh. coffee and stuff, so... Yep. Don't forget to meet us at the hippos. Mm. Okay.